Hey everyone, I am Prabha Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will talk about one of the interesting topics, methods in C Sharp. But before we begin, I would like to remind you that we have daily updates on numerous technologies. So, if you are a tech geek looking for the newest technological breakthroughs, then try subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, Without any further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. We will begin our session by understanding what methods are in C Sharp. Then we will discuss the components of methods in C Sharp. After that, we will discuss how to pass parameters in methods. Following that, we will try to implement methods in the code editor. Finally, we will wind up this session with a quick summary. Now, let's get started with what methods are. Methods in program are block of code or statement that allow the user to reuse code conserving memory, time and most importantly, increasing code readability. This is the basic syntax we first mention the access modifier then return type a method name with some parameters in the open braces and then add the method body in the curly braces. Now, let's have a look at the components or elements of methods. There are five components of methods in C Sharp. First up, access modifier, return type, method name, parameter list, and method body. Let's discuss them in detail. We will start with the access modifier. It specifies the method's access type, that is, how it can be accessed in your application. In C Sharp, there are three types of access modifiers. First up, public. All methods have access to the code. Next, private. In this, only the current method will have access to this code. Next up is protected. In this, it is only available within the same class or the hierarchy of that class. Next up, return type. The data type of a value returned by the method is specified by the return type. The return type is void if method returns null. In C sharp, the return type can be int, void, double, string, and so forth. Next up, method name. It indicates the name of the user defined method that the user invokes. For example, factorial, which is preceded by open braces. Then, method body. It refers to the line of code that describes the duties that will be executed by the method during its execution. It is kept in curly braces. At last, parameter list. Within the open parenthesis, a comma separated list of inputs parameter is defined, preceded by the data type. If there are no parameters, then empty parenthesis must be used. There are three types of parameters. Value parameter, reference parameter, and output parameter. Now let's see how we can pass parameters in methods in C sharp. C sharp methods can be classified based on the return type and input arguments. First up, methods without parameter and without return type. For example, this print function prints the string void parameters. Next up, without parameters and with the return type. For example, since there are no parameters in this product function, then we will define variables inside the method body and return the product value. Then we have with parameters and no return type. For example, this circumference function is using R parameters, which then helps us to calculate the circumference and we will print it in the method body itself. At last, the with parameters and with return type. For instance, in this factorial function, we pass the integer parameter n, then we calculate the factorial n and then return that value. Now, let's implement these in the code editor. Let's get started with defining some variables. So, we will be using int rad, which we will give the value as 7. 
n n which we can give value as 4 and a variable get res now we will start with our first function that is print function this will be a void function that is without any return type and without any arguments so static void print and in the curly braces we will call console dot write line in braces we can type in like welcome to simply learn now let's try to execute this one so we will call the print function now save it and let's run it as you can see it is printing the welcome to simply learn ignore this warning it will be resolved when we will use these variables now let's get started with the next type that is without return type and with parameters so we will have static void circumference and r here we will directly print console dot write line so circum parents plus two multiplied by in close braces we have twenty two divided by seven that is pi then star r we will close it then we will write up function so we will call circum parents with the argument as write let's run this as you can see it is now printing the circumference is equals to 42 now Let's write up another function which will have a return type without parameters. So we have static int product. Here we will define int as x is equal to 7 comma y is equal to 22 and res then res will equal to x multiplied by y then we will return Now let's store the res value in get res. So get res is equals to product. Then we will write up console dot write line. and then get res let's save this and run it again as you can see it is giving us 154 which is 22 multiplied by 7 which the product function should do now let's write up another method to demonstrate with return type 
and with parameters. So this time we will be writing up static and factorial and int n. So int f1 is equals to 1. 4 and i is equals to 1 i less than equals to n and i plus plus f1 is equals to f1 multiply by i Then return F1. Now let's have get res and we will store factorial and then we will call console. dot right line and we will print get this let's save it and run it as you can see it is now printing 24 result which is a 4 factorial now let's find up this session with some advantages of the method the method ensures that the program is well structured the use of methods improves the readability of the code. It is also an efficient approach for the users to reuse the existing code. It also reduces the amount of time it takes to execute and the amount of memory it uses. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.